Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I organize my papers for school. This is by no means intended to be a guide to some sort of perfect organizational system, but I'll just be showing you what works for me so that maybe you'll be able to try out these methods and see if they work well for you. My system has three main components, one for papers that I take to school with me every day, one for papers that I mostly leave at home, and another for my notes. The first part is my expanding file folder, and this is what I use to store the papers that I take with me to school every day, so I keep this in my backpack at all times. The tabs in this section are numbered 1 through 6, so they're organized by class period. So 1 is for first period, 2 is for second, etc. I also have a couple of other tabs that don't correspond with a specific class. One is my writing board, the others are for different types of blank paper, and the last one is just other. And this is for paper that has contents on it but isn't tied to a specific class. For example, I have my transcripts or any forms that need to be turned in for school in general. This folder only contains papers for the current unit, the information and topics I'm being currently taught and tested on in class. This way I don't have to carry so much paper around with me all the time, which would not fit in the folder and it would be very heavy and not great for my back. Whenever a unit is finished, I take out the papers for the unit that just got completed and move them out from my expanding file folder into a different, longer term storage system. And this system, which I keep at home, is the second component of my paper organizational system. The way this system is set up is first I have this wire vertical paper organizer that divides the papers into four different sections for four different classes. I do have six classes each school year, so this isn't really enough for every single one of them to have a separate section. But some of my classes, like yearbook, don't really have that much paper associated with them, so I'll just squish them in with a different section. Within these wire shelves, I use a file folder for every unit within a subject, and each subject uses a different color of file folder. If you want links to these specific folders that I'm using right now, I will link them in the description, along with pretty much everything else that I'm mentioning in this video. Also, another tip to help the environment by reducing your waste is to label these folders with washi tape instead of labeling directly onto the folder paper. This way it's much easier to reuse the folder since you can just peel off the washi tape and the folder is essentially as good as new. The third and final method that I use is notebooks. I take pretty much all of my notes in a notebook. Sometimes if a teacher wants to collect notes, then I'll do it on loose leaf and then I'll store it in my expanding file folder or in the filing folder system, just like any other worksheet or homework sheet. But besides those loose leaf papers for notes, all of my notes go in these notebooks. If you'd like to see more about the specific notebooks I'm using and for what purposes, I will link my what's in my backpack video in the cards on this side. Also, if you're watching this video pretty soon after it's uploaded, I just want to remind you that my book, Study With Me, is being released on Tuesday, October 8th, which is very exciting and cool. And if you're going to be available and awake at this time, I'm going to have a live stream at 4 p.m. PST on Tuesday. In this live stream, my co-author Alyssa and I will be answering some of your questions from the chat, giving away copies of the book and some cool stationery, and reading passages from the book. So be sure to pre-order if you are interested and want access to some exclusive pre-order bonus video lettering tutorials. I'll have more information linked in the description. I hope you found the advice in this video helpful. I upload new videos every Monday and my Instagram is at studyquill if you want to check out photos of my notes and bullet journal. See you next time.